Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pullman and this starting lineup for Lynn Roberts in Utah. Impressive. Gianna Neepkins in a zone right now in shooting the basketball nearly, nearly 60% from three in her last six games. McQueen, Neepkins, Johnson, and Peely all average double-digit scoring. This is a team averaging 93 points. They want 70 shots, 70 possessions in this game, and that will be duty number one for Washington State, I think, to try to slow it down. Tara Wallach, Astera Tahina, the freshman guard in the starting lineup for Charlize Ledger-Walker, Johanna Tedar, Matuga Murakatete, some veteran players. They've been through everything here at Washington State. Partner, you expect them to compete tonight. I know their head coach does. Oh, yeah, they are competitors. Uh, you know, they've had some things come up, um, but teams, you got to fight through adversity. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how they respond. But if you look at Tahina, she's, she has overseas experience playing on big time teams. So she's ready. Bella Murakatete's been around. Ula Matuga, one of my favorite players, I think, in Washington State's <laughs> history. Fun to watch. Cougar basketball, we're underway here at Beasley Coliseum. Greg Heister, Stephanie Hawk Freeman, 12 0 Utah on the road to take on the 10 2 Washington State Cougars without their star player, Charlize Ledger Walker. This is Ted R. Wallach, here's the freshman, Tuhina, with a drive. Murkatete, the catch. Left it short. Peely clears it. Well, you got to like the confidence in the freshman and Tuhina. Um, the one thing I would say is just making sure that you don't put too much pressure on yourself. And Alyssa Peely, that's too easy. Yeah. She's just so dominant inside. And, you know, you sit there and look at her numbers, and they're just off the charts. But then she can also step out and hit a three as well. Yeah, but you got to put a body on her, right? We talked about that prior to the game, and there's the turnover. Stelina looks to the official for some help, but Peely's moved to the bucket. Just so strong, and the ability to stay on balance to finish that, and there was no help. And it's really difficult when she's surrounded by so many great shooters. You know, who do you sh who do you help off of? It is. It's one of those situations that's pick your poison. And there's a travel as Gianna Neepkins bump Peely, but not really contest her, and that's going to be one of the issues at Washington State. They're not real deep at the post player. They can ill afford to get into foul trouble with Peely. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, you know, she took the contact, but then didn't stick with it, and you're right. You want to be smart and not get yourself into foul trouble. Great move by Bella right there with a strong drive. And Murica Tete will have to be big in this game for Washington State tonight. She's one or two from the floor, but a good aggressive take there on that move. Here's Peely again at Motuga. Skip out, jump shot coming for three. That's long from Johnson. Ball tipped around Peely with it. There's a shove underneath. Great catch, but missing it as Johnson and back comes Washington State. And that's going to be a key for Washington State. If Utah misses a shot, they have to get the board. They cannot give Utah more possessions giving up those offensive boards. Murica Tete from 17. That's long. Rebounded Jenna Johnson. And again, you see Utah pushing the ball up. They want it in their offensive set as quickly as they can get it there. Yeah, and and there's I, the drive. Wallach with a block. I really thought Peely had great position down low, and they just did not find her. Tara Wallach, a sophomore from South Surrey, Canada. Nearly 11 points a game coming into her own this year for Washington State. Murica Tete gives it up. When you score this many points, you're going to win a lot of games. Because think about it, even if it slows down in Pac-12 play, is a great take there by Kennedy McQueen. Yeah, well, and I, what, what I like, too, is that it's not all outside shots. They've got that inside presence. When they need a bucket, they can go to work. And so if maybe if they're having an off night shooting, they've still got someone inside that can convert. And then they can drive into the lane as well. Ula Matuga, the drive, the foul. Kennedy McQueen, great fake. Tahina. Open up the paint inside for Peely to go to work, but it also opens up the paint for those drives. Nipkins, Nipkins is very 
talented at doing that. You know, she's a taller guard and can get in there and finish. Tedder. This is the player that Washington State needs to score in this game. Tahina, mid-range jump shot. Great read by Tied the freshman. Four. Great read. She had, she beats her defender and then notices the help side coming, but decides to pull up before that. And through contact. How about <laughs> that finish by Gianna Neepkins? Into the chest of Ula Matuga and scored anyways. And getting back on defense is Vieta. The deflection out of play will be Washington State basketball. Tedar. Mercatete posting up. Tedar fires the three short off the front of the rim. Little high low back to Peely. Three on the way. Tahina the rebound. Near side, Ula Matuga can shoot the three, but Peely. There to defend. Wallach out to set a screen. Joanna Tedar drives the lane. Left scoop. Good. Tied at six. Issy. I'm sorry, partner. Issy Palmer on the floor right now. So is Kelsey Reese for Utah as they go to the bench early. This is a deep team. And now a second chance for three. Kennedy McQueen from downtown Utah leads at 9-6. Boy, she is all over the place right now. She almost got the steal there flying in. That three-point shot off of that offensive rebound is huge. Murica Tete with a great catch and finish. Otuga with the lob. Murica Tete at the free throw line. Not a good free throw shooter missing there. About 69% on the season. So Utah remains in the lead by a point. Issy Palmer, a junior from Texas. There's Kelsey Reese, of course, her sister, the Washington Husky. McQueen will shoot the three. Bang! Who is one of those three-point shooters? Percentage isn't great, but she can get it going from out there and hit them in bunches. Yes, yeah, she can. She can really string a bunch of them together. If she sees one goes down, watch out. Deepkins to Palmer. Palmer, the drive, good defense, who an up and down game with Utah. Bounce, Motuga, great cut, missed the shot, got it back, it's up and in. Down towards that range, that's where some other teams have had, um, you know, kind of stuck around with the youth. So I think that 70 point range is important. The deflection there by Murica Tete, another turnover, that's number five for Utah here in this opening quarter. Wallet inside spin shot up and good. Tara Wallet. Patience, and she's got the length. Wallet listed at 6 2. Able to just get herself positioned down low with that drive. And a great backdoor cut. The cut is they shoot really well from the free throw line as well. So if you foul them. She's a preseason Pac 12 honorable mention caliber player. And the takeaway Kennedy McQueen is a problem right now for Washington State. Mutuga, open three, got Peely in the air, hand off to Hina, corner three, good. Percent shooter from behind that arc, came in 23 of 70 for the season. She hit her opening two, and it just, I think, put her in rhythm. And she's been a problem for the Cougars on both ends of the floor. Is Peely, speaking of problems. She sat on the floor and just took the easy little bucket. She made it look so easy. I'm not going to say that was easy, but she made it look easy. And she takes it away there. Vieta, here's Neepkins. Johnson. Neepkins for three. Boy, look at the, um, those teams overseas playing against the older older women. Walt missed the shot, got it back. Granger Walker out of the mix. Highly favored in this game. Murakatete the block. Peely got it back. Alyssa back to her feet, dumped it inside. Johnson trying to score. An acrobatic finish under the bucket. You know, not all plays are going to be pretty, and you got to stick with it, and that's what Utah did, getting that conversion. Wallach the drive, and she'll shoot free throws. Back off of Christmas break. and Slow you down? It slows me down, I know. But um, you're right. If you keep letting the, the Cougs hang around and gain confidence. Correct myself yep. again. It is 12. <laughs> Here's McQueen. 
big first quarter for Utah. She's been quiet here in the second. Reese. Vieta, the drive on Tahina. And a left. Tahina into the corner. That's a three ball. That's long from Kira Gardner. Boy, and Tedder really, they got to find a way to get her going. I thought she's had some pretty good looks. Marika Tete now two of six from the floor, four points, three rebounds. 145 to go in this first half. Vieta, Healy can't leave her open. She can connect. Oh, was in that game with 20 plus points. Motuga's three. That's short. The eight of the rebound, smallest player on the floor out of there with it. Young handoff, and now Peely again. Murakatete out here for lob. Great catch, and now a chance for. And follows on Tahina, her first. State came out in that first quarter and hung with the Utes, but in this second quarter, they have only scored three points. And Ted Arjuns. The eight of lob to Peely. What a catch. Missed the shot. Murk and Tete up. Happy. Upbeat. A lot of energy. It's gone quiet here at the Beasley Coliseum. It's Utah who, again, this is a team that when they score points and they get on a roll, literally there's flames coming off the floor. Like there's an explosion, and that's what's happened here. This was a close game for most of the first quarter and half of that second quarter. But Utah is going to end this first half on a big run. And take control. Motuga transition three. That's long. Another chance for the Cougars. So Hina now will direct traffic. Still ten seconds between the two clocks. Tahina. So had a shot there, turned it down. Now needs help. Four on the shot clock. Picked it up. He's got to shoot it. On the way, short from three. Murakatete the rebound. Dump it to Sarver. And there's the bucket. Vieta will try to get it off in time. She's got time. And won't do it. No foul. And that's the way this first half in Pullman ends. Utah with a 16-point advantage. The Cougars hit one of their last 10 shots. We are back underway. Greg Heister, Stephanie Hawk, Freeman, second half. Wallach with a great catch and finish. And I love that gift. Wallach going early on. She had Nipkins on her. Nipkins, sorry, excuse me. The 5'11", Wallach listed at 6'2". I like that. The queen to Alyssa Peely. Hand off to Nipkins. Back to Peely. Laying with a left hand. Two of three from behind that three-point line. Johnson now tees it up. That's off the front. Cougars need some momentum. Wallach will drive in, gave it to Bella Murica Tete. Tedar. And she'll get all the way to the rim, and she missed it with a left hand. Murica Tete picked it up. 8.7 rebounds, three assists. And she has a really good defensive presence as well for Washington. Penetrates. Taken away, Wallach. Home run ball. Murica Tete, the catch. And the finish. And Washington State back to within 10 here in the third. Great run by Merka Tate. And those are the type of plays that really give your team energy. Oh. Kennedy McQueen, 5 foot 10, <laughs> so strong. Wallach runs it down. The reverse with a left hand go. Cougars with some energy here in the third. This is Johnson. Wide open three. Bingo. Well, Vieta, usually the one setting up her teammates, averaging four point, just under five assists a game. That's good for number two in the Pac-12, but she can also knock down that shot as well. It's just, you know, you're in the Pac-12. You just cannot leave open shooters. I don't care what the statistics are. If you're open, these players are going to... Maybe now that she sees it go through the hoop, that'll get her going. And you know how those shooters are. They get into a rhythm. She's now one of five. Peely with a big screen oh. there that knocked Tedder. Peely now with a dozen points. Motuga skipped to the corner. Wallach drives the baseline on McQueen. Missed it. And then she comes to Utah. And she's part of the second. High Third in the Pac-12 with 20.1 points a game. Here's Reese. Palmer 
against Bella Murakatete and remain as one of the only five teams left in the country with an unbeaten record. Tadar with a catch, scoop. Well, one thing is you've got to be careful because you know Utah now is going to come and attack you, but then offensively, you're, you got to wonder how it's going to impact her. Murakatete, what a... And now Jenna Johnson, hand off to Young. Back to Johnson on the low post. Young, the three on the way. Bingo! Deja Young, the junior from Jonesboro, Arkansas. And the transfer from University of Tennessee at Martin. And it's back to a 13-point Utah lead. Ten are the drive skip to the corner. Motuga came and got it. The drive on Johnson. What a great cut, Grace Sarver. Minute 28 to go in the third. Otuga and Grace Sarver. Utah's hit their last five shots, but they've also turned the ball over six times in the last four minutes. Jump shot. That goes for Tahina. She has seven. Tough shot because Reese was coming out. Reese at 6 5. That's a big time jump shot. Johnson inside will shoot. Connects on both. A 75% free throw shooter. Final minute of this third quarter. Back to an 11 point lead for Utah. Sarver trying to bring it in and can't. Lost it out of play. Early in there, but they stuck with it and got the turnover. McQueen missing, but was left wide open. Johnson can't get it back up. Motuga with the defense. Johanna Tedar with the basketball. Here's Tahina. Murakatete trying to set the screen on Palmer who got through. Sarver, Murakatete, the catch. Left it for Motuga. Beautiful ball movement, off the ball movement, and a great find from Murakatete to Ula. Back to a nine point Utah lead. Palmer the drive. It's when this, this game is at its best. We get excited about great athletes, but man, when you see players that just know how to play. It's the sophomore from Medina, Minnesota, Jenna Johnson. And now four for four. On the season, shooting 76%. Good enough for nine in the Pac-12, but... The way she's shooting tonight, that's going to go up. Well, Utah will go to this fourth quarter up by 11. Neepkins can't get it to go. Got it back up and good. Cougar offense very stagnant. There seems to be confusion out there on who needs to come get the ball. And, and where, where do we go, yeah. Coach? Murakatete with nice acrobatic play. <laughs> look, look this reverse, way. Reverse, reverse right. psychology. There's Peely. Oh, That's the thing about her. Boy, what? The strength. Cougar basketball. Grace Sarver. Kennedy McQueen right there with her. Kennedy's been impressive to me in this game. She's a two-way player for sure. Tahina, corner three. Bingo. Yeah, you got Will this team prove that they're great and win? You gotta have the grit and the tenacity to finish out games that aren't always the prettiest. Motuga three. Bingo. Seven point lead for Utah. Johnson three on the way. Loose ball to Hina the rebound. Murakatete the catch and the finish. Washington State on an 8-0 run, looking for more right now. And Murakatete getting up the floor again. Kept her foot, fouled from... And the free throw good. And she's 5 of 6 for this game. Well, we saw her before the game getting up extra shots, going to the free throw line. She's getting a nice little cheer from the crowd. Neepkins with the basketball. Five minutes to play in Pullman. Backdoor cut. McQueen missed the shot, but she's fouled. It's 15 points. 
She's one of one from the line and misses there. The program's best start since 2018-19, which is actually the best start. Murakatete, another rebound. He's got 11 for the game. And Washington State with another chance. Tahina, mid-range jumper goes. At Beasley Coliseum, number 11, Utah, unbeaten at 12-0. Washington State, 10-2 on the year. Winners of eight in a row here at Beasley Coliseum. Without Charlize Ledger-Walker, her second leading scorer, Tara Wallach has fouled out of the game. And yet, they have a chance to take down Utah. Down 62-60 right now with the basketball. Here's Tahina. Murakatete sets the screen. Tedar back to Bella. Bella to Motuga. Shot up foul. And Ula Motuga will go to the free throw line where she can tie this game at 62. And Murakatete finds her. Motuga a 66.7% free throw shooter. And she gets the home court bounce there. And clutch free throws. By the fifth year player from Logan, Australia. Washington State has come all the way back and tied this game at 62. Here's Alyssa Peely at Matuga. Peely may have gotten away with a travel and somehow threw it up off the glass and it drops. That was so tough. Tahina doubling down, getting the reach in through. Murakatete sets the screen. Healy way out. McQueen was there as well. Murakatete underneath. Oh. Left hand goes. Grace Arthur Grace with a Sarver. chance for three. We talked about how everybody was going to have to step up. Sarver, six points. Only averaging 2.7. Talked about the calming presence she has for this Cougar team. With the left hand, and Sarver now with six points, three of five, can give Washington State their first lead of this game with a minute 51 to play. Too long. Loose ball, Murakatete again crashing to the floor, and it's Utah basketball. We remain tied at 64. Big possession for Utah. They're one of their last seven from the floor. Palmer. McQueen was poked in the eye over there by Johanna Tedar. They outscored Utah 18 to 7 here in the fourth and have come back to tie it at 64. Minute 30 to play. Utah trying to hang on to their unbeaten start to this season. Jenna Johnson with the basketball. Eight on the shot clock. This is McQueen. Picked up her dribble, now Palmer against Tahina. Palmer, the drive blocked by Motuga, one on the shot clock. Oh, too much emotion by Ula. Yes. Great defensive play, but got to move on. Yeah, you can't do that. And Cammy Etheridge calling her team over right now, the technical foul. Is a big call right now. And Lynn Roberts trying to talk to the officials to get an explanation. And Cami Etheridge. She knows how close this team is to one of the greatest victories in her career here at Washington State. And this will put Kennedy McQueen at the free throw line. A 73% free throw shooter. It rattles in. Utah back in front, 65-64. McQueen hits them both. Clutch at the line. Utah back in front, 66-64. Tremendous block by Motuga. There yeah. would have been one second on the shot clock. Utah probably would have given the ball back to Washington State. That technical foul, big pull right there. You can see game. your teammates coming in there trying to, you know, stop it. <laughs> Issy Palmer. This is Johnson. Now McQueen. Here's Peely. And there's the offensive foul on Peely. Under a minute to go. 
All right, Greg, I'm going to flip the script. I'm going to ask who should the Kibbs go to. Motuga. And Ula going back to the free throw line. I, I mean, she has six assists in this game. To go along with 20 points and 11 rebounds, Motuga's free throw is good. Back to a one-point game now. Motuga, three of three from the free throw line, and that free throw got her to double digits at 10. Second one up and good. Washington State 10 and 2. They've won their last eight at Beasley Coliseum there without Charlize Ledger Walker. And they're in position. Here's Palmer. Johnson. Nice catch. Peely. Boy, she's so good at catching the basketball. So Tara Wallach out of the game with five for Washington State. Tedar and Motuga each with four for the Cougars. And Peely is money at the line. Her first free throw of the game. And she drops it. Now with 17 points. Peely playing with four personals as well. Alyssa played at Diamond High School in Anchorage. She was a Lynx. Tedar. There's Tahina. Back to Johanna. Here's Motuga to the post. Bella Murakatete against Peely. Tahina for three. Tedar, the offensive rebound, but now the ball's loose. Johnson picks it up for Utah. Clock continues to go. No Got whistle. Ten seconds to go. There's the foul. The transfer from Texas, a junior from Newcastle, Australia. That makes it a three-point game. If she connects again, it makes it a two-possession game. Mm -hmm. Missed it. Loose ball, Tahina with it, calls timeout. And Washington State with life, with 8.4 to go. Utah had a chance to ice it at the free throw line. Tahina, well, possibly Tahina, the yeah, freshman. Yeah, two for four behind the three point line. Grace Sarver's out there as well. She can uncork it from deep. Here's Tahina with the basketball. Here's Motuka, open three on the way. Rimmed out, rebound McQueen. And Utah's gonna hang on for the victory and remain unbeaten. Now 13 and 0 on the season. They're 2 and 0 to begin Pac-12 play. And what an effort from Washington State without Charlize Ledger Walker. They had a chance. Motuga had a good look, partner. Yeah, they got the look that they wanted and it wasn't far off. Obviously that whistle, that foul was called, so McQueen drops in the front end, and so that will extend the lead. But for Utah, again, as I said earlier, as a team, you play 10 stinkers every year. I'm convinced of that, you play 10 stinkers. If you're a really good team, you find a way to win. And Lynn Roberts and her Utah Utes somehow did that today here at Beasley Coliseum, a 71-66 victory.